Um, now you can see here it says catalog in publishing a publication program CIP. Yes. So you'll see in the Library of Congress they refer to the CIP program. Mm -hmm. However, we don't qualify for C for the CIP program. You we have to have be a publisher who has published at least I believe three other authors besides ourselves. Okay. And so because we don't qualify. I'm going to go ahead and share share with you. Um, uh, so we can't use the Library of Congress um, to get that. It's cipblock.com slash CIP. So this is how, so you see CIP blocks for independent publishers. Oh, yes. So this is specific for small presses. Oh, wow. What they do is they show there's a uh, contact information here, Adrian dot at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. And um what she what she says is go take this form, this is the data form right here. Okay. Copy it and put it into an email right here. Uh copy this, throw it into an email mm -hmm. with uh, to her and fill out all the information. So let's look at what it wants. It wants the title, subtitle, author, editor, illustrators in the exact order they appear on the title page. So if the title page doesn't have editors and it's just author and illustrator, that's fine. Just okay. there. Um, the name, middle name, and year of birth. Um, has author published any other works? So if you've got you know your other book, um, Elephant in the Room. Then you'd put that list that as well. Okay. Uh, if you have any series, so then you got your ISBN. You've got your LCCN, which we just applied for the first half of it, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in order to finalize this, we need that LCCN. We okay. need to take that next step with the LCCN and okay. get that, put that in here, um, and then the name of the publisher, location, publication date, or projected publication date, doesn't have to be exact, but I think I put mine like end of October. Um, how will the title appear on the page? Uh, and then it wants you to categorize the, the work by choosing um, from the list of BISAC codes, which is very similar to, let's just look at this. Um, it's kind of looked at, they're very similar to Amazon descriptions. So if I do children's or juvenile, uh, juvenile fiction. So you can see underneath juvenile fiction is all these different. So they want to know which ones um, are applicable to, oh, I see. to your book, right? So yeah. jungle animals, mammals. So um, I, I basically selected a handful for myself. And oh, okay. And you can you do more than one. Yeah, and if you have questions, you can always reach out to her. Um, that was one of my questions. I was like, gee, I don't know how many I can do, mm -hmm. but I put maybe five or seven, and I figured if that's too many, she'll just take the first so ever so many. Mm -hmm. um, but you could very easily reach out and just ask her specifically how many do you um, do you need of that. Okay. So, no, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. So, um, and then there's one more um, small bit of information. So, once you've got all of this information in a form, um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to email this to her. Okay. And then there's this buy now at the bottom here. Um, and you can see she's right in Florence, Massachusetts, or this company is in Florence, Mass but it costs sixty dollars for her to do the assignment for you okay So you click here on the buy now for PayPal submit the sixty dollars and um, and let her know when you sent when you email her that you've already paid the sixty dollars and here's you know the email address it would have come from from PayPal okay and, and that way that's that's basically what you need okay. um, and she'll let you know if you missed anything or if she has any additional questions. Okay. And, and then she'll return you with the CIP block that you put in on your um, on on your copyright page. Excellent. 
And I, I notice here at the beginning, it says that you have to put the uh, author and illustrator's name and birthday and the editor. So I have to ask my illustrator his birthday and submit that. It's the year of birth. It's not his birth date, but just okay. the year, the year okay. that you were born. Okay. And what, I, I don't know exactly what my title page is going to look like yet. Should I figure that out first before I submit this? Um, I think. Because I don't know if I'll have an editor on there. I don't know if I'll. Yeah, I mean, I would look at, you know, take a look at t some common title pages. Um, I want to just look at Bobby's book. Well, let's see. Hold on. I've got Cami Kangaroo. Let's see. <laughs> My friend. Um, okay, so for Cami, like all, all it's really doing, it just shows like on the title page, you're showing your author, illustrator. Okay. If if the editor was like a really important part of this and was and was mentioned right here then you'd want to put it in. But if it's okay. not, then it's not a big deal. So they just want the important key contributors, I think is what the big issue is. Okay. And now if we're looking at, hold on. Um, so I'm looking at now the um, copyright page. Okay. If you start, if you take a look at some of the books that you have, um, you can get some good ideas about what the copyright page would look like. So here it does have the ISBN number. It's okay. got, all it says here for a uh, category is juvenile fiction. So it doesn't, it doesn't have a CIP block and it's not required, but it is um, recommended, uh, especially okay. because it gives that additional legitimacy to your book because mm -hmm. only those that are like legitimate um, publishers and books will have that. You know, many traditional publishers will have it. Mm -hmm. And those that, like us, that go through that extra step to get it assigned. Yeah. So that's, it's a, a really important um, thing that helps your book in the eyes of a librarian because the librarian will use those numbers when they're cataloging your book. They'll, they'll okay. use that information to catalog it. Great. So then I'll just wait for the info from the Library of Congress and I'll get a move on with this. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. And that's, that's that. Fabulous.